Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, May 21st, 2015. My name is Cliff Backus. I am the Chief Market Strategist for Push Button Stock Trading, and this is your daily video market review. Markets closed mixed on lower volume Wednesday. Again, the IBD 50 outperformed both the NASDAQ and the S&P 500, indicating that leading issues may be asserting themselves in this market. The market's in a confirmed uptrend and our one to six month timing model is on a margin signal for the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and the IBD 8585. It's indicating an aggressive buy rating for the IBD 50. The IBD 50 is the index that best reflects leading stocks in the market. And it's worth noting that it's the only index we follow that has yet to go to a margin signal. Large caps edged small again on Wednesday and continue to outperform on a 10 day moving average basis. This is a little out of character for a confirmed uptrend. Since early last year during market corrections, large caps have outperformed small caps, but small caps have outperformed during confirmed uptrends. The fact that large caps are still leading should lend a note of caution to the bulls. Meanwhile, a Ramosi greater moving average of the S&P Composite 1500 remains positive indicating more stocks in the S&P 1500 are trading above their 9-day moving average than are trading above their 50-day. This is a positive for the market and is the basis for our aggressive buy signal. An aggressive buy signal combined with a buy signal on an index is the basis for our margin signal. Our Ramosi swing timing model is showing a moderately overbought condition in the market. The market's confused here. We, we have conflicting signals, although we're bullish for the most part, we're bullish with a healthy dose of caution. What we're looking at here is the Ramosi Greater Moving Average, or the RGMA. The RGMA compares the number of stocks in an index, in this case the S&P Composite 1500, that are trading above their 9-day moving average to the number that are trading above their 50-day moving average. The indicator provides an aggressive buy signal when there are more stocks trading above the faster 9-day moving average than the slower 50-day. The RGMA has been on an aggressive buy signal since May 11th. I generally find that the RGMA will trigger a buy signal significantly quicker than the O'Neill confirmed uptrend. Notice how the RGMA went to a buy signal on the 11th of May when the S&P 500 was trading at 21.16. The O'Neill system didn't go to a buy rating until May 15th when the S&P was trading at 21.21. That noted, we continue to watch for industry group rotation. We want to know where the power in the market is. So let's see where the strength in the market is rotating to. What we're looking at here is the HGSI warehouse of 8200 securities. We're going to take that warehouse and we're going to sort those securities by stocks in groups moving to the upside. That gives us 101 securities. We then import those securities into our spectrum analyzer and sort them by industry group. What the Spectrum Analyzer does is it takes a snapshot of where the strength was in the market yesterday. By analyzing where the strength is in the market on a day-to-day -day basis, we can see where the rotation in the market is. We see yesterday that the strength in the market was in biotech, which we've seen a great deal of over the past year. Specialty pharmaceutical also we've seen a great deal over the past year. We've seen some significant rotation into semiconductor devices and managed care. And a newcomer to our list is life science equipment. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ composite. NASDAQ composite yesterday traded up 1.71 points or 0.03%. NASDAQ 
actually held support at its prior resistance area of 5042. We'll see if we can continue to hold that area. I'm not sure I trust this area just yet as a level of support. Right now, I would in, I would say that the support in the market is at 4811. Resistance is up here at the March 2000 high of 5132. Yesterday, trading volume was a little bit higher than the prior day, giving us a day of weak accumulation. For you followers of William O'Neill, we are currently on a confirmed uptrend in the market. We went to a confirmed uptrend on May 14th. Our one to six month timing model on the NASDAQ composite is showing a margin signal on the market, which indicates that aggressive traders can use margin to leverage up their portfolios at this point. As we've noted earlier, the market's a little bit squirrely here, so you may want to be a little bit careful about leveraging your portfolio. But as long as we hold support in the 5042 area, the market seems to be in, in pretty good shape here. Let's take a look at the S&P 500. The S&P yesterday was down 1.98 points or 0.09%. S&P closed at 21.25, closed in the lower part of its daily trading range, but held support at prior resistance in the 21.20 area. I don't trust that area as support just yet. Um, we'll see how the market reacts over the next few days. Right now we have support in the market down here in the 20.40 area. and. The next real area of resistance is going to be this trend line. Yesterday trading volume was below the prior day. For you followers of William O'Neill, we have been on a confirmed uptrend in the market since May 14th, and we have no distribution. Our one to six month timing model is showing a margin signal on the market, meaning that aggressive traders can begin to leverage their portfolios utilizing margin. We haven't looked at our MACD histogram in a while. Let's take a quick look. Like everything else about this market, the MACD histogram is sending a conflicting signal. Right now, the Histogram is trading above the zero line at 2.3, but is in a short-term downtrend. Because we're trading above the zero line, we have one bullish signal, and because we're in a short-term downtrend, we have a bearish signal. And so our immediate bias on the S&P 500 is neutral. I didn't see any significant pocket pivots this morning, and so what I wanted to do was go over a few of the watch list stocks that we have. I'm finding it very difficult to find solid watch list stocks, which also is another indication that uh, this may not be the most powerful follow through in the market. But we do have a couple that are worth taking a look at. Before we do that, I just want to note that all of the individual stocks that we talk about in our video market reviews are from our universal watch list, which you can view on the daily spreadsheet. To qualify for the universal watch list, a stock has to have satisfied at least 72% of our stringent technical and fundamental criteria and currently satisfy at least 62%. Out of our trading universe of 7,000 stocks, there are currently only about 80 stocks that meet these strict criteria and make our universal watch list. These are the only stocks that we review in our daily video market review, and for the most part, they're the only stocks that we use in our trading strategies. That noted, Heritage Insurance Holdings offers personal residential insurance for single family homeowners and condominium owners in the Florida area. It's currently in a second stage base. We get a 72% checklist rating. We have a pivot point of $22.80. And we have this trend line aggressive 
traders can buy the stock if it breaks above that trend line. More conservative traders may want to wait for the pivot at 2280 and buy it if it breaks above 2280 on at least 140% of average daily volume. Abiomed develops medical devices designed to assist or replace the pumping action of the heart. It also is in a second stage base. It has a 64% checklist rating and has a pivot point of 7470. Notice this distribution in Abiomed over the past couple of weeks. That's a sign of weakness. The stock tried to break out of its base two weeks ago and failed on that heavy volume. Look for Abiomed to hold the 6282 area. If it breaks below that area, I would be concerned that we may have to take Abiomed off of our immediate watch list. BOFI Holdings is a holding company for BOFI Federal Bank operating primarily through the internet and from one office in San Diego, California. The company's in a first stage base. It gets a 72% checklist rating. We have a pivot point of 97.68. It should be noted that average daily volume for BOFI is 184,000 shares. Typically, we don't like to buy stocks that trade less than 750,000 shares a day. Abiomed can be bought on a break above the pivot point at 97.68 by aggressive traders, but keep in mind that because of the very thin trading volume on this stock, it's going to be very volatile. And finally, I want to look at Gray Television. Gray Television owns and operates television stations in 44 television markets, broadcasting 140 programming streams. The stock is in a second stage base right now with a pivot point of 1480. It gets a checklist rating of 72. Notice how Gray Television has respected its 50 day moving average here. Gray Television can be bought on a move above 1480 on at least 140% of average daily volume. That's about all I have for today. If you want to talk about any of the stocks that we mentioned today or our market strategies, please feel free to give me a call or drop me an email. Make an appointment. Come by the office. See what we're up to. If you're out of the area, we can set up a Skype session. A reminder, if you've not already done so, please take a minute to go to our subscription page and subscribe to Push Button Stock Trading. You can also follow us on Twitter at Push Button Stock. Again, my name is Cliff Backus. That's your daily video market review. Have a safe and profitable day. Keep your stops in place, and I will see you again tomorrow. Please stay tuned for our important disclaimers. All the best. Disclaimers. Push-button stock trading video market review is produced and edited by Clifford B. Backus. Mr. Backus is a senior vice president of investments, technical analyst, portfolio manager, and partner with the investment firm of O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated. Video market review is produced solely for the benefit of our clients, friends, and colleagues. Anything written, stolen, and or plagiarized in this publication is done without malice. Further, the analysis and opinions expressed in this publication are strictly those of the editor and not of O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated, its affiliates, subsidiaries, or any of the officers or employees of O'Hanison Liqueurs Inc. On that note, we submit the following. The analysis calculations and evaluations presented herein are based on data and assumptions O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated believes to be accurate. O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated makes no representation that such analysis or calculations are accurate or that such valuations represent levels at which actual trades may occur. This report has been prepared from original sources, except where otherwise noted, and data we believe to be reliable. O'Hanison Liqueurs Inc., its affiliates and subsidiaries and or their officers and employees or their families may from time to time acquire, hold, or sell a position in the securities mentioned herein. Moreover, opinions may differ from one entity to the next. 
If we are used in connection with the purchase or sale of any security discussed in this report, we may act as principal for our own account or as agent for both the buyer and the seller. Push button stock trading is dedicated to the education of friends, clients, and paid subscribers. Push button stock trading is an information service only. The information provided herein is not to be construed as an offer to buy or sell stocks of any kind. Push button stock trading is created to aid subscribers in making informed investment decisions based wholly or in part on technical analysis. It's possible that at this time or some subsequent date, the editors of push button stock trading may own, buy, or sell the investments presented. All investors should consult a qualified professional before making any investment. The information provided has been obtained from sources deemed to be reliable, but it is not guaranteed as to the accuracy or completeness. The editors of push button stock trading make every effort to provide timely information to subscribers, but cannot guarantee specific delivery times due to factors beyond our control.